The LGBTQ2S plus community is no stranger to criticism and ridicule. Most recently, controversy over drag performances when youth are involved. On Thursday, Tennessee became the first state to pass a bill limiting drag performances in public. And here in Canada, a Calgary drag storytime event has been canceled for safety reasons following a similar event gone wrong last month. Here to talk about both incidents making headlines right now, Jennifer Boyce joins me. She's with Egal Canada, a leading organization for LGBTQ issues. Welcome to Global News, Jen. Great, thanks for having me. Exposing children to drag story times and performances, in your opinion, does it benefit them? Yeah, drag story time absolutely benefits children, as well as families and communities. These events are family friendly, they're fun and educational spaces that help foster dialogues around inclusivity, acceptance, standing up to bullying and staying true to one's authentic self, all of which are important lessons for any child. We know from uh, our 2021 report, still in every class and every school, which surveyed over 4,000 young people in high schools across Canada, that um, to us LGBTQI students are more often than not the victims of uh, target or sorry, the target of bullying than their peers. For example, 30% of 2S LGBTQI students have been victims of cyberbullying compared to 8% of non 2S LGBTQI students. So, you know, if anything, we need more events like Drag Story Time to affirm for young people, especially 2S LGBTQI young people, that we all deserve to be celebrated for who we are, whatever that looks like. And, you know, anyone who says otherwise is really just being a bully. Now, I mentioned a recently passed law in Tennessee that will restrict adult cabaret performances that includes drag on public property. What kind of message is that sending to society? I mean, Republicans are saying they're just trying to protect children. You know, uh, I think an attack on drag is an attack on the whole 2S LGBTQI community. Um, essentially, placing a ban like this on drag is discriminatory and only stands to fuel the wave of hate and violence towards 2S LGBTQI people that we've been seeing. And, you know, trans people are especially at risk. Now, on the other hand, we've seen a number of groups protesting against various drag performances in Canada, most recently a drag story time at a local Calgary library. A man now facing multiple charges, including mischief and causing a disturbance at that event. What message does that send, knowing there are consequences to discriminatory behavior? You know, people have the right to protest and we have a right to free speech and freedom of expression. And it's important that we uphold these essential rights across the board. But that said, hate and discrimination really have no place in our society. Um, you know, showing that there are consequences for hate motivated actions sends the message that hate and discrimination and bullying will not be tolerated. You know, we would commend Calgary or we commend Calgary for sending the right message by punishing hate motivated hate motivated actions and for taking these proactive and necessary steps to protect 2s lgbtqi people um you know we would encourage other municipalities to take similar actions by introducing bylaws like the street harassment one or even taking it a step further to have um have a you know a buffer zone for these protesters who are showing up at drag story time events Jen, for parents who want to educate their children on gender identity or the queer community, what are some simple ways to do so? Yeah, there, so there are lots of free resources out there for parents or educators or others in the community who are looking to, you know, become better allies or learn more about 2S LGBTQI identities. Um, on our website at egal.ca, we've got lots of free resources, everything from glossary of terms, guides on how to use gender neutral pronouns, to free webinars on how to um, how to draw the line against transphobic uh, violence in schools or to become uh, affirming adults for young people uh, who are trans or gender nonconforming. Some great resources there. Advocate Jennifer Boyce joining us today. Thanks for your time, Jen. Great. Thanks for having me.